Hi guys, I'm Dan Keynes, and today I'm here at Digital Film Studios doing a little bit more in-depth review of the DJI Follow Focus, how to set it up, and how well it works with the Airy Ultra Prime lens. So why don't we plug it in and set it up. So first we've got our P-Tap plugged into the Anton Bauer gold mount plate here, and we're going to take the Limo side and plug it into the bottom of the motor here. And I've already got my handset turned on and I've got my knob turned to 50%, which is the center of the knob. And you'll see that once it's plugged in, the power light lights up on the side here. So next, I'm gonna loosen this knob and interface the gear to the lens gearing here. And try to center that up. And I've got the lens turned to the center of the focus rotation so that it's uh, right there in the middle. And I'm going to go ahead and tighten this little kip knob down onto the focus motor. Once you've got the motor tightened down, go ahead and just turn your lens gently and make sure that it's turning fluidly with the motor. And that's a good sign. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and take the handset and I'm going to push the left arrow to go to the calibrate menu. These um, options that are on the bottom of the screen can be navigated to using the left and right arrows on the direction pad. So I'm going to go left to calibrate. I'm going to select automatic by hitting OK. And then it's going to ask me to hit OK to start. So I'm going to go ahead and push OK and it should start calibrating the lens. Okay, and you see that the lens has auto-calibrated here. It says done on the handset. I'm gonna go ahead and push the left arrow. First, I'm gonna make sure that it actually works. So we'll go ahead and turn the focus knob and we'll get the focus chart and focus there. Looking good. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit the left arrow to go back and back and back to the main menu. And the focus knob is working fluidly and we're able to pull focus. So right now I've got um, my settings in the menu under motor parameters. I've got the torque for calibration turned up to max. I've got the run torque turned up to max. I've got the speed turned up to max or fast. And acceleration I've also got turned up to fast. And rack speed I've got turned up to 100%. And this seems to give the lowest latency and the quickest reaction time uh, to the focus moves that I need to do. And for my direction, I've got it set to reverse because if I'm pulling my own focus, I like it reversed where uh, going away from the top or running clockwise goes further on the distance scale and rolling it back towards me goes closer to the distance scale. I'm the world's worst uh, camera assistant, so don't follow what I do. I'm a better DP. But you can see that it's a nice smooth and quick reaction time. And so what I'll do is I'll find a focus point for this focus chart on the screen here by rolling through the focus. And if I hit, if I go back to the main menu and I hold down A, that'll set a focus point for where we are now. The next thing I'm going to do is rack the focus back to my hand here. So I'm about minimum focus distance here on this area ultra prime. I'm going to go ahead and set the C mark as the focus distance by pressing and holding the C button. And now what I can do is quickly rack between the two by hitting A and C and that'll let me jump between the two settings. So you can see how easy that is to work with and how quick and reactive the focus is. So it's very easy and you can also make very fine adjustments. So, you know, if we're just creeping through focus here just a little bit, it seems very proportional, uh, very reactive and very functional. And uh, for all the work that I do personally, I'm blown away by this. And it seems to have no problem driving an area ultra prime. 
One super quick tip that I have if you've just gotten your DJI Follow Focus is that if you're using the letter-based hotkeys, um, these keys actually can limit the range of your focus rotation. So very quickly, I'm just gonna show you a quick trick that you can use so that it doesn't screw up your focus rotation while you're working. So um, the first thing I'm gonna do is rack to the minimum focus distance. And I'm gonna set that as my A point. And then I'm gonna rack out to infinity. And I'm gonna set infinity as my D point. Now, the reason that I do this is that, say for example, I set uh, the focus to A, it'll rack to A, and my knob is still in the same place it was, which is D. So you'll notice that when you're in A and D um, quick focus mode, your knob stops having an effect if you're outside that range while you're on that hotkey letter. So to disengage that letter, um, you just push it once and you get back to normal focus mode. So in other words, um, I can go D and then I can go A, and if I try to rack while A is highlighted, I'll only have the limited range that I have between uh, that focus mark letter and um, where there is percentage on the rest of the knob until I disengage that letter by hitting A again. So what that does is um, very quickly give you your minimum focus and infinity focus on A and D, and then you have the ability to set B and C as alternate focus marks in between. But uh, I was a little bit confused by this feature earlier, and it took me a little while to figure out that um, if your letter is highlighted, you're going to limit your focus rack ability. So you can see that we're only between infinity and where I left the knob previously. Um, so for some people, this could be a feature. For me, it actually could prevent you from getting the results you want if you're working in a fast-paced environment. So you see right now the knob is not doing anything for the rest of the rotation uh, so it's really limiting your focus run and the way to disengage that is to press that letter so it's not highlighted and you have your full rotation of the lens available to you again so again I think this is a feature not a bug it just took me a little while to understand it and so I'm sharing that with you guys so that's my quick look at the DJI follow focus actually in use with an ultra prime on my epic uh, tune in next time I'll try it on a smaller lens uh, like a R lens 15 millimeter and we'll see how it does. See you next time.